Welcome back to Sports Talk ATL. I am Chase Earl, joined by Alex Lord. It's time of the week for our predictions for the Falcons' upcoming matchup as they travel to Detroit for their first road game against a very good opponent, uh, opponent in the Detroit Lions. I think, as I said, in the keys to the game, the injuries are going to be a big part of this. If the Lions were healthy, I really think I would probably lean Lions and the Falcons falling 2-1. and one. But I think this is a confident team after what happened last week. I think we're going to see a more confident Desmond Ritter. I think they kind of smell blood in the water. They know just as well as anyone how banged up and how they're going to be able to attack this defense and how they're going to be able to attack this offense with key guys out. I don't know how the Lions' backups are going to hold up. I think the Falcons have enough talent being the healthier team to win this game on the road. I like them to win this game, and I like them to put up a season high in points. I think they win at 30-24. to 24. Yeah, I think I was just around there too. I think, you know, the play is Falcons outright and the over on uh, the total. Um, I'm going to go a little bit less and I think it's a little bit closer. I think the Lions are winning late 27-21. Falcons win the game 28-27. It is going to be a high scoring game. I wouldn't be surprised if we see both teams go over 30 points because this Lions offense is underrated and their defense gave up a lot of points last week against the Seahawks. And listen, I don't care about that Chiefs game. I really don't because the Chiefs were missing their two best players. And, you know, you could you could you could say all you want about uh, the Lions pass rush all over Patrick Mahomes. But Travis Kelsey is a safety blanket beyond safety blankets. That guy is unbelievable. He's so valuable to that offense. Uh, the Chiefs pass catchers dropped numerous balls. That is not a worry to me. What I look at is what they did last week against the Seahawks. And what I saw was a lot more of what I expect this week and that the Lions offense can't put up points. But let's not let's call a spade a spade. The Seahawks defense isn't as good as the Falcons right now. Like I said, the Falcons defense is playing among the best in the league right now. Now let's see if the Seahawks offense, you know, let's see Desmond Ritter. I'm not saying he's Geno Smith, but I got to see something. Let's see if the Falcons offense can do a little bit more than what they've done in the past, which is really just, you know, scrounge together a little bit of a uh, victories on the ground. That's what it is. The defense has won its games. Desmond Ritter had a near perfect fourth quarter last week. But other than that, it's been about seven quarters of iffy football from Desmond Ritter in this Falcons offense. Let's see if they can put it all together. Yeah, but from your prediction, you have Desmond Ritter coming in the fourth quarter and having a big yep. fourth quarter and making some yep. plays down the stretch. Which is what he's just a gamer. Listen, he could have a crappy game, but I, he's a gamer. He's not gonna. He could throw three picks. He's coming back in that fourth quarter. If he has a game-winning drive on the line, I like my chances. I think that's when he's at his best. When he's just his back's just up against playing, the wall. Dude. He's I mean, a gamer. The facts are the Falcons are four and two in his starts, and it hasn't been pretty, but. Uh, even the starts that they lost, I mean, you think about you go back to New Orleans and you go back to Baltimore last year, the starts that he lost. They were driving down the fourth quarter winning the game, and Drake London has some critical fumbles. Like they 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 look like Desmond Ritter was playing his best, even when he was a shell of who he is now. I don't think he's anything great now, but he wasn't nearly as good as he is today or as he was then as he is today. In the fourth quarter, this guy has made plays, and I think I saw a stat over the last two years, minimum two starts. His QBR in the fourth quarter is second in the NFL. Second in the NFL behind, I think, Sam Howell. So that's another guy that's ha ha like looked like the real deal for the Commanders and their surprising 2-0 starts. But Desmond Ritter in the fourth quarter, something clicks. And they talk about that confidence. He does not lack it. And there's no doubt about it. Coming up after the break, we're going to give some bold predictions for this week four matchup.